I'm here with Mr. Ahmed Karamasir, Director of Business Istanbul. Hello. Hello, Jadia. How are you? Thank you very much. I'm good. Um, what are you presenting this year? Yes. Uh, first of all, I'm representing uh, the Turkish Health Tourism Organization. And additionally, I have a company called Business Istanbul Business <coughs> Development Organization. We are promoting the Turkish healthcare system, health, health tourism, to the GCC countries by participating in the World Healthcare Congress. And this is what you were discussing? Yes. Uh -huh. And we are trying to see how the GCC finance, GCC capital, may uh, encourage to establish more uh, medical institutions in Turkey, uh, as well as medical therapy, medical aesthetics, and thermal resource hotels, for example. Because according to GCI, uh, accreditation institute there are 45 medical institutions accredited by, by them so this is giving an opportunity for Turkey to be the second in the world rank after the United States and a number of uh, medical institutions so but still it's not enough because surrounding Turkey there are so many countries are not advanced in uh, medical institutions so it's a good opportunity for them to come and get the treatment from a very professional uh, institutions. How is the healthcare, healthcare industry and uh, healthcare tourism in yes. Turkey? Uh, I, sh I can say that it has started in the, in the early 2000s so it's about five years, seven years now it's developing. There are still certain uh, problems of uh, legal aspects as well as the, uh, the insurance systems. Um, the Netherlands is the first country, Holland is the first country who are sending their citizens by under the protection of their own social security system to Turkey. So they are uh, substituting their charges, they are paying their charges and sending to the Turkish hospitals, which is something good. And Norway years and years they send their patients to the thermal hotels in Turkey for the, even the paralyzed people they are cured with this uh, kind of treatments so we also want GCC people to come more and more to benefit from all this uh, and also to design to design better hospitals or better resource for the region to come and stay and why do you think such an event is important? It's important to bring the parties together because I cannot imagine how I could met these people uh, in the Middle East in such a short time. And when I visited World Health Care, uh, World Congress in their headquarters in Boston about two weeks ago, after our event in Harvard University, uh, I really liked that I have seen that they are doing this event in several countries in the world very successfully. And this event, second event in Abu Dhabi, the Middle East uh, World Congress, became very useful for me. Uh, and the speakers are excellent, the speaker faculty. So really I'm benefiting. Because you have the top people from the industry, from exactly. every, from exactly. different exactly. parts of the world. Exactly. All under yes. one roof in Abu Dhabi. All under one roof. And we are also sharing the same hotels, so we find even chance after the talks, after the after dinner, to talk on the 12th floor of Aloft Hotel, so to discuss the continue, and it's really exciting. And what are some of the main challenges your organization faces in the healthcare industry? Well, um, as we discussed in uh, some of the workshops, the legal aspect. Who will be responsible if there is going to be a malpractice during the uh, medication or operation? This is first. Second is there are no unified insurance policy, insurance companies. They just cover very minor uh, healthcare uh, costs. But they should be courageous enough to cover more so that you know uh, the people will move from here and there to, to visit uh, other countries for this kind of services. Because the global world, we should not consider Turkish hospital or American hospital or English hospital. They are all, so they are the world hospitals. So one, the borders are abolishing, 
So why not the hospitals are unifying and under one code, under one law, under one legal aspect, under the same insurance, they can benefit. Mr. Ahmed Karamasir, thank, thank you for you being Sarah. with us. It was thank a pleasure you. talking thank to you. Thank you for, for your being, giving me this chance.